Vicky Stage 1. Today we are going to be planning some instructions on how to be a good animal keeper or a good zoo keeper. Now we've watched the videos of Chloe in Africa and what she has to do. We have watched some videos on how um, on what a zookeeper does. So on Monday there was that YouTube video and he was showing you all the different things that he does around the zoo. So I'm using all of that information to help me plan my instructions on how to be a really good zookeeper. So you can see on the screen here, I have got a little word mat and these are called time conjunctions. Now if you think back to a set of instructions you might have read or looked at before, these are um, the words that come at the beginning of your sentences. For example, first, then, next, after, those types of words. So I've put them here for you to see. And they, those are what we're going to use, as well as those imperative verbs that we've been looking at this week as well. Now, can you remember what an imperative verb is? Really hope you do. It is a bossy word. It's a word that tells you what to do. So we definitely need those in instructions, don't we? So let's have a look. Now, in your red books, you can set it out. You can do a little grid like that with time conjunctions, imperative verbs, and then the instruction at the top. And then it's going to help you plan what you're going to write. So I'm going to write an example um, for you today. Then you're going to go and have a go. And tomorrow, you're, we're going to use this to write up our, um, our instructions. Okay, right. So to begin with, I don't think I'm going to use the word finally as the first time conjunction because finally comes at the end. You wouldn't find it at the beginning of a set of instructions. So I think the most sensible one to do first oh, is first. So I'm going to write first. That's going to be the time conjunction I'm going to use. Now my imperative verb has got to be a bossy word. So I'm thinking about what an animal keeper has to do. So first, they need to check, and then what are they going to do? What's the instruction? So first, check, and then they need to check the animals are safe in their enclosures, in the cages that they kept in. First, check, and then the animals are safe in their enclosures. So the enclosures are the spaces that they kept. Right, so that's my first one. What do animal keepers need to do? Now you're always going to be looking back at your notes that you should have made. So I've got first, then I'm going to use secondly, secondly, oh, secondly, hmm. What do animal keepers need to do after that? So they've checked the animals are there. So they need to inspect. I like that word. I'm trying to think of a different word instead of saying the word check again. So inspect the animals for any injuries. Because you never know all these animals get up to mischief at night time. They might have accidentally hurt themselves. So once you've checked the animals are in their enclosures, they could just have a quick look and check they haven't hurt themselves. Okay, right, what can we use? I'm going to use the word next. My imperative verb. So they've checked the, the animals are there. They've checked they're safe. Oh, they need clean water, don't they? So I'm going to put the word clean and refill. So they need to clean the bowl that it's in and they need to refill it with more water. And then, so next, clean and refill their water. Right, what do I need to do next? So I'm guessing the animals will be wanting their food, so they need to chop their food up. So after chop, oh, not chop, chop their food up. There we go. What do they need to do then? Let's have a look. Hmm. So they've chopped their food up. Can you help me? What do they need to do next? Well, I bet where they've been sleeping and where they've been going to the toilet is rather smelly. So they need to clean that as well, don't they? What, are the, what, in, what time conjunction could I use? Mm, I'm going to use next again. I'm not using next, 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 next. I'm not using them all after each other. Forgetting my commas. 
next wash and then it's going to be their sleeping and toilet areas so you usually see them if you've been to the zoo they get a huge hose don't they and they wash it all down and then if if they've got hay or sawdust down in some enclosures they have to clean all that make it nice and clean and fresh um, some animals are used in demonstrations in shows. So if you've ever been to a zoo, you might have seen a bird show or a sea lion or a penguin show. So they get them out for their exercise then as well, don't they? So I'm going to put after that. Hmm. Play and train, because sometimes you might play with the animal to give it some exercise or train it. Play and train, and then it will be your animal. We're nearly at the end what thinking back to that video what did that man do so he made sure they were safe they weren't hurt they changed their water their food they cleaned the in enclosure they took it for some exercise or maybe for a little sh demonstration show and then he wrote some notes didn't he about the animals so all the zookeepers and animal keepers in the world have a big computer system that they have to write notes on um, about the animals to, if there's anything going on with them so I'm going to put later hmm double no write and then it's going to be write notes about what your animal did in the day because then if you're not in work the next day maybe somebody can look and think oh what did that animal do yesterday or this animal wasn't feeling very well today they'll be able to tell they'll be able to write it in their notes and tell the other animal keepers okay and then the word i'm going to use is finally and then i might do hmm double check all the enclosures and gates are locked and safe and there we go so i've written my plan i'm really thinking about what an animal keeper and a zookeeper might do so i've got my time conjunctions all in here first secondly next after next after that later finally so can you see i haven't done first then, 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 because that's a little bit boring. I want to try and use lots of different ones. I've got my imperative verbs. Check, inspect, clean and refill, chop, wash, play and train, write, double check. So can you see they're all bossy? They're all telling you to do something. And then I've written the instruction there and what they need to do. So that is your task for today, thinking about all the videos and all the notes you've made on what an animal keeper does and what this, what sort of things they have to do. I want you to write your plan today with your time conjunctions, your bossy words and then the instructions on what they need to do. Okay, if you've got any questions or you're not sure, make sure you email your teachers and ask them and then we'll be able to help you. Okay, look forward to reading your instructions. Bye.